goodness, with face, Pat, and Tiz. This week. So, is Tiz the new Umar Johnson? So, um, on Friday, guys, I have uh, had my own experience now with uh, Lake Shitatanka. Um, So, uh, I have a wonderful six-year-old son. He's an amazing child, Um, very gifted, intelligent, bright young boy. Um, But he is a six-year-old boy, and he decided to be adventurous and put rocks in my outdoor sewage drain which then backed up all of the pipes in my home. Um, unbeknownst to me, he was like, oh, the daddy, the toilet clogged the night before. So, you know, I plunged it, it go down. I'm thinking everything gravy. Next morning, whole nother restroom. He go use it. He said, it started coming up. <laughs> oh, laugh to keep from crying. All right, <laughs> this motherfucker, yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. So he said he saw the water coming up, but he didn't know why it would go down. So he flushed it again. He said it kept coming up. So he thought it would just stop and he left and went back to his cereal and his tablet, which is where I eventually found him. And this is how I got this story after I found him. Um, when me and my wife found out about this, because I come downstairs, you know, it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm ready to start my day. I got work to do. You know what I mean? Um, I got a meeting literally starting in 30 minutes. So I'm ready. To, I'm, I'm coming down about to give me a protein bar, you know, a little something to drink. Going back upstairs to get ready for the Zoom. Man. I take a step down in my slides on the last step. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the computer screen. You know, you know how we be multitasking as adults, doing stupid stuff on the stairs that we really shouldn't be doing, but. I'm on this computer trying to, you know, start my day off. I'm checking emails as I'm coming down the stairs. I take that last step and my foot slides out from under me in hydroplanes. The other foot goes up under me and like bends. So I, I'm pretty sure I had a, got me a little hairline fracture in one of my metatarsals. Um, so uh, anyway, yeah, bro. Uh, I splash as I fall in about three inches of water. Mind you, this is in my front foyer. So this is like, you know, front door, walkway area, you know, tables here, you know, to greet you as you come in. You can put your keys there, you know, the normal shit. So I splash and I'm like, what is this? What the f-? And I catch it, cause I'm like, where is he? Is he all right? What's going on? I don't really, I'm still trying to catch my bears cause all of this is like, I'm sitting there, I'm in pain, but it's adrenaline flowing because now I'm like, where's this water coming from? What is happening? How much water is it? Where does it stop? Where does it, like, what do I need to do here? So I immediately get up. I get this big push broom we got. See him at the kitchen table. I'm like, like the water is still running profusely out of this toilet downstairs, right? I'm like, as I'm getting the push broom, why? What? You didn't see that? Why didn't you call me a mommy? Oh, well, I was watching my tablet and eating cereal, and um, I heard something, but I didn't know what it was, so I just kept watching. <laughs> the child. Mind you, this it's is Tim Junior. This this child has my name, so this is this is how my how my next generation chooses to start my Friday off, my weekend. Mind you, this is the this is the gotcha gotcha, folks. Next Thursday, we're going to Mexico. This whole weekend was supposed to be about closing out work for the last year, getting ready for my vacation, gearing into some big podcasts. You know, I had talked to y'all. I was about to be big live streaming all day. I had already told you I had like a little schedule of stuff I wanted to do. Okay. So I, I was ready to go into that mode, you know. I was ready to go shoe sh- sneaker shopping, you know, give me some kicks to go with my little outfits, you know. You know, I was about ready to get fly form, you know, down in the coat, 
you know, Mexico. You know what I mean? So I, I was I was just feeling myself like, oh, it's vacation time. Everything is crazy. It's about to be lit. Nope. I'm pushing shit water out of my home by the gallons and gallons out of the front door of my home at 8.30 in the morning. So I think it's just this area, right? So, you know, I'm like, hey, wife, call the plumber. You know, so she called the plumber. They like two to five, two, two to five, uh, two o'clock to five o'clock is when they can get to us. I'm sitting here, I'm seeing what's happening in my house. I'm like, no, this ain't gonna wait. It's, it's gotta be, I need some help. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna be able to do this all day. <laughs> like, you know, I'd have turned the water off, but it's still like, when I say like, I'm literally, like, say I, I still got on my Nike slacks. I'm like, I can't change shoes. I ain't about to put doo-doo water feet in no no other sneakers or, or no shoes or nothing. So I'm, mm-hmm. you know, a Nike a, a, a Nike slide about this thick, champ. You know what I mean? The water mm-hmm. is at least is at least this much over it still at this point as I'm shoving. Right. So I get on my phone. I call uh. I don't know, they ain't give me no money, you know, but I call a very reputable company that does water restoration and plumbing. So I'm like, okay, they 24 hours, they gotta have somebody that can come, you know, closer to now, even at least within yeah. an hour or so, you know what I mean? So call them, they like, yo, we're gonna be over there in 15 minutes. They get the dude over here, dude come in, he like the water restoration guy. We ain't even got to the plumber yet. So I'm still don't really <clears throat> understand why my, home is experiencing this backup of water out of this one toilet in this profuse manner, right? I still have no idea what is happening. I'm thinking, uh, you know, my son just put some paper towels or something in the toilet and clogged it up <laughs> real bad. And when he flushed it, it got stuck in there in a big clump. You know, kids do weird stuff like that. Sometimes I've, I've seen kids put toilet paper rolls in. So I'm thinking it's something from there. So the water, the water guy come in, he he can go all around and he got this infra, like this infrared thing. It can see like all of where the water has seeped up in your baseboards. And you've seen this. Pat, you've gone through this stuff. So you yeah. know that they got these little infrared yeah, sensors. Excellent. Where they go around and they show yeah. you in your walls, like, nope, see how the water that seeped all the way up here and it dripped down from here. And you can see the lines. And this is poop water now. This is sewage water. Like this is backed up everything. So like Whatever we don't flush for the past few days, them backed up. We found this out later, but at this point, I don't know this. But anyway, he like, yeah. So he's going through the house. So he get a team over there. I didn't got most of the poop water pushed out by now. They come in, they help me. We get it all out. They get their equipment in, you know, da 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 da. This is the damage. Whole first floor. Got to be redone. All of the carpet and all of the wood, all of that got to be redone because all up under that is literally a layer of water that they had to mm-hmm. get out after they pulled up the floor. All right. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, so that includes the kitchen, living room, dining room, front foyer, bathroom downstairs, the pantry the storage closet, the other closet, like all of that is gotta be ripped up and redone. All right. So that's, that's, that's that. All of the baseboards, obviously. Cause if all of the yeah. board had water running it, the baseboards, that stuff just pooled up and started, you know, soaking into the wall. Sucking it in. Yeah. So you gotta cut the bottom yeah. of the baseboard so, out. So yeah. now the whole bottom of my first floor is missing. It looked like my house on stilts the way they got it cut. Like it, it looks ridiculous. Yep. You know yep, what I mean? Been through that. Um, so that's downstairs. All of the steps. Because what I found out is, because now he's figuring out, oh, no, it must be sewage. It must be like all of the water that's been pulled up for the past few days is backed up. And it's it's in all of the restrooms. So he's going through. We going through with the infrared camera. I'm looking. I can see the puckering up. I'm like, oh, oh. around all three, in all three bathrooms. All the flooring got to be pulled up. Ah, oh. oh, which means my toilets had to be taken out. Oh, 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 she tosh, she tosh. Oh, how she tosh. Okay, so yeah, 
So now we're in a, a telly, you know what I mean? Uh, come find out my son is a silent terrorist. Plumbing finally gets there. <laughs> they look in the outdoor cleanup because, you know, that's where you go to see if the water's even flowing or not. Mm-hmm. First stop. So they stop at the one by the street. They don't see no water. That. They go to the next one. They don't see no water. But what they do see is rocks. <laughs> about this big. <laughs> Don't I ain't, I ain't think I, big that. Big. I mean several, several. You know where they came from? Around our bushes and trees. They're the bordering bricks that we use to like, like we have these rocks that we have around that border our bushes and border our trees out front, right? Other day, maybe three, four days ago. Me and the son goes outside to cut grass. I have him take up all the rocks, put them on the walkway or driveway while I do the backyard and the other side of the house. So by the time I get to the side where the rocks are, I can just cut over everything that I need to cut over. I can come through. I ain't got to worry about nothing hitting, like jumping into the lawnmower or nothing breaking the blades. And You know what I mean? So that's always his mm-hmm. job before we do anything else. All right, so he out there doing that. I get done pretty, you know, at a relatively good pace on the other two sides. So I come around to his side. I'm like, you almost done, son? He like, yeah, yeah, daddy. I I, I got it. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go to the back real quick, you know, get the weed whack on, do some trimming. And then I'm going to come back around, son. You, you, you good? Yeah, I got you, dad. All right. So I go around, do my thing, come back around. I'm like, son, you finished? Yeah. All the rocks on the walkway, dad. All of them. Bet, Junior. Go ahead in the house, son. You did good, champ. Do my thing. Call him back outside. Tell him, you know, come on, let's put the rocks back out now. I done done done. So we putting the rocks back out around the tree. Cool. We putting the rocks around the bushes. And then all of a sudden I notice it's like, it's like these patches in the rocks. Like it, it, it don't look as flush as it normally do. Like I'm like, where the rocks at? And I'm like, maybe they done got buried or something. Maybe I'm tripping, you know, because I, I wasn't over there pulling them up. So I'm like, cool. We go ahead and keep it moving. Come find out this little boy to speed up the job. He took the rocks and put them in the drain pipe and closed it back up because he wanted to make sure that he was done on time and he didn't want to let me down. I was like, son, you could have just asked me for a few more minutes, son. You could have just said that. I had a few more minutes. I could have went inside, had me a sip of lemonade or something, you know, chilled out. Took me a break. You, you, I could have helped you. Thing make me so mad. He had to put the rocks on the walkway, right? The pipe he put the rocks in is this far from the walkway. I was like, son, if you'd have made it to the pipe, you'd have made it to the walkway, son. You didn't even have to do that. Like you was there. You you could have just dumped them all right there. My God. So we ain't gonna talk about uh how many grand the plumber was, because then they had to come out of my front yard with a backhoe. And dig up my front yard to pull up the pipe and put in new pipes. Cause it was rocks everywhere. Rocks here, rocks there, rocks everywhere. <sighs> Okay, so um, that's been my uh, that's been that's been the past few days, teams I had, but I have learned some beautiful life lessons through this.